I'm gonna, uh, if I have a second, I'm gonna try and find it. Dude, that's so beautiful. Alrighty, welcome everybody. Let's go ahead and jump into the second game. Actually, I believe this is the third game. No, is this the first? This is the second game. Yeah, let's go ahead and check in the, check out the second game. This is going to be a best of five. First player t with three wins takes the gold. Bebo is going to spawn on the top left. Bebo, fighting. And little and the Illusdorf is going to spawn on the top right. Illusdorf. Oh, thank you, Deirdon. What's going on, everybody? Alrighty, well, very interesting, very interesting supply depot placement here from Dwarf. So he's going to scout counter clock. Well, no, that is clockwise. And good old Bebop. Looks like he's going to scout da -da -da, clockwise. Bebop, fortunately, he's going to be able to scout his opponent very fast. However, he's not going to be able to scout very much. If you know what I'm saying. All right, first Rax goes down. And we're not seeing any gases from Dwarf. Usually we do see these relatively fast gases before he expands, and we're not gonna see that this game. Well, there's still time. There's still time. There's this much time. And we are gonna see a gasless expand going down for good old Dwarf. And people, now actually, here's the thing. These positionings are great for any kind of timing attack from Protoss because of this walking distance. This walking distance is so short for a four player map, which is going to give Bebop a nice advantage if he wants to do some kind of two base timing attack. But on the other side of the coin, this is a great map. This is a great map for uh, drops. You can harass the third and the nat and the main by, you know, by moving you can harass them both very easily. Just hop back and forth. You can also har harass into the main and the and the third. Main and the natural, main and the third. So we'll see if either of these players tries to uh, tries to get an advantage from this. Now we're actually seeing two SCVs on the map. One SCV is a little stuck with uh, with following his buddy over there. Frizzell it is out, and we are seeing a second gate. It's almost like it's a three stalker opener, but it's not. What's going on, Sydney? Catch you later. Pleasure to see you, uh, Steja. <laughs> You're funny, Sydney. <laughs> Test kid talking about eight dollars. All right. Well, what's the plan here from Bebop? We aren't seeing the second gas. We got a lot of Corona boosts here. I think we might see a four gate. No. Now, last game, Bebo won, and if he wins this game, he's gonna have a two to zero lead going into his final. It will end this finals. And there goes the proxy pylon. Tech Lab is gonna finish. He's gonna have to be on the money with pulling his SCVs, but he's gonna have so few units. But he's five, six, seven. He's gonna have about. He's gonna have a little under the two minutes now to uh, to get enough units to defend this. Oh, baby. Now, we only have one bunker, so it might not be too hard to hone it. Alrighty, five minutes and 54 seconds. Let's get that warp in, baby. Gateways are a morphin. Mighty morphin Power Rangers. Caroos. Alright, let's get all these units together. Bebop, Bebop. Get this guy. Bebop. Bebop. Ready, SCP's getting pulled off. Excellent. Only three, though. Egg salad. He's now getting target fired here. Two Marauders in the background. We're gonna need another round of zealots here. But the bunker looks like it's gonna hold. 
Excellent. And the bunker is down. Unfortunate, unfortunate, so unfortunate. Bebo pushing forward for the win. That's going to give him two wins. I'm so hungry. G! 1G from Dwarf. He says, that wasn't a good game. He just, he just all in me. I <laughs> had that capital G. <laughs> I love that. Pimp is down. Ladies and gentlemen.